Hi, I'm Vera. Hi, I'm Christina. And we're from... Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to see back there. <laughs> but it's a soul and of enlightenment. That big thing's in the way, too. Yeah, a pretty candle. Candles. Salt lamp. So, you guys, yeah. today is really pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Because? I, I kind of want to talk about past lives and how it, it influences and affects us in our current lifetime. And I just have like a... You know, and it's really kind of like... In this political climate, you know, where people are kind of anxious and stuff. But, you know, I wanted to talk about, because Obama's gone, and, and Michelle and how they had this huge effect on us, you know, while yeah. they were here and everything. And what well, I feel they did a good job, you know, with what they had. Oh, me too. You know, and so I wanted to talk about his past life and how his, that influenced his, his current situation, his current life. And then Prince Harry, I want to talk about him. Yeah, and these are great examples because the, cause they're also, you've chosen them, but then some of them were uh, questions that people were asking right. too. Right, huh? yes, yes. And, and they're really good examples because we know who these people are. So it shows us exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's because you can yeah. see their lives. Exactly. Yeah. And you said it's a good yeah. example. So, and, you know, because we, we were talking about, you know, what is the big deal about? Because we had somebody in the office that was always saying, oh, past lives. Who cares about past lives? Right. It's so boring. You know, and, oh, my gosh, it is not boring. No. Because people are not boring. No, exactly. The The popularity of reality TV kind of shows that, doesn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. interesting. It's just... It's just people's real lives, but some of these things, we well, couldn't write that. Right. It's amazing how right. we carry things in and we repeat a scenario to learn from or to pull in our strengths from these other lives. Right, right. So, On that President, note. <laughs> President Obama and Michelle had a life with Lincoln. Isn't that and cool? Michelle Obama in that life was male and so was President Obama. Uh, but they're Native. Um, I keep saying Native Americans because they had a Native American life. But they had. They were uh, African American. But and it was really interesting the way Lincoln kind of got Obama in his inner circle because he was actually talking to him because he was working in like outside or something where. Lincoln was going by or some kind of a situation. He was visiting something and Obama was there and they started talking and he loved Obama's take on things. So he brought him in and he was kind of like an advisor. Because he had the experience and he, the point and of he view lived of life. the people yeah. to bring yeah. in to, yeah. to help Lincoln exactly. with his leadership. And that's what was so different from Lincoln is that he brought in people that were contrary to what he believed in. Not Obama wasn't. They worked together to to help. Right. You know, uh, African in American. In that lifetime, right. yeah. Right. So that was their main thing. But you know, it's not just that. He helped him with all other kinds of aspects of the uh, presidency, which is amazing. Yeah. I mean, it makes so much sense. I mean, I always wondered. I mean, you know, when Obama first got in, his affinity for Lincoln, it was like, I you know, always I wondered. I didn't know that. I always, when did he talk about it? I never All saw the way that. back then, I just always wondered if I never, he might have had a... Yeah. Might have I never been, saw him talk about Lincoln. Because it just seems so relevant to this oh. time now. You know what I yeah. mean? Like oh, you said, with so. the country being Did divided, yeah. it's like, it's amazing. And yeah. then with equality and everything else yeah. that he's... Has on his play had on his plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and one of the main things that uh, that Obama got from Lincoln in that past life was grace. I love that. And the way that he w he interacted with people, especially people that didn't believe the way like that he, he did. did, because he was really watching the way Lincoln acted with people that were very contrary to what he wanted. You know. Yeah. Not to get, I'm definitely not going to get political or anything that's like that, pretty, yeah. but I just wanted to say that with Obama, that's one of the things that I really have always admired and respected about him was his grace. I yeah. always wanted, I always liked that and wanted to be able to learn from that. Yeah, because under fire, he was pretty eloquent very. And, and graceful in how yeah. he never 
needed to demean someone or a group of people yeah. to get his point across. Well, I like thought, that one I guy thought. that yelled out liar. Exactly. You saw for a split second, you saw that his first reaction was anger, but then he brought himself back. Yeah. You know, it was, it, it was really interesting. Which we it. all have. Yeah. But I liked how he never, you know, he didn't have to, like I said, demean Yeah, people. and he didn't. And he could have gone off on that guy. So for yeah. me, you know, that was a great example yeah. of how to Handle. show grace. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing that, you know, he had from that past life that he brought into the current lifetime. It was a great example for us right now at this yeah. time. Yeah. And you then know? the other one was Prince Harry. And yeah, the yeah. past life about Prince Harry. So let's hear about Prince yeah. Harry.